What a joyful day to gather together in this beautiful church of St. Mark and to witness the promise and commitment that these seven men who will be ordained to the order of deacon will make today. We're grateful for this day to be able to gather around the altar, to listen to God's word, and to receive him in the Eucharist. Most Reverend Father, Holy Mother Church asks you to ordain these men, our brothers, to the responsibility of the diaconate. Do you know them to be worthy? After inquiry among the Christian people and upon the recommendation of those concerned with their formation, I testify that they have been found worthy. Relying on the help of the Lord God and of our Savior Jesus Christ, we choose these, our brothers, for the order of the diaconate. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Pope Francis offers words of encouragement to deacons. He says, you can offer the Lord your work, your little inconveniences, your weariness, and your hopes in an authentic prayer that brings your life to the Lord and the Lord to your life. When you serve at the table of the Eucharist, there you will find the presence of Jesus, who gives himself to you so that you can give yourselves to others. It must begin here at the altar. It is Christ that you give to others. Your mission is to keep before our eyes the invitation of Jesus to everyone to come and share in the very life of God, which is grace. And when you are ordained a priest, we don't eliminate the diaconate from your experience. We add to it so that the directive and the mission to serve is always with you. It will always be yours as a priest as well, as a bishop as well. Believe what you read. Teach what you believe, and practice what you teach. The saving word of Christ is what you are to proclaim. Cherish the scriptures and search for language that speaks to the people in today's world. In doing so, you will bring much needed hope and understanding and life. My dear brothers, your faith has brought you to this place of response, of saying yes, yes to Christ, yes to his church, yes to his people. We recall another yes that changed the world. Mary's yes. Open the door of your hearts to the graces which the Lord will flood your souls and your ministry. Love and serve the Lord above all. Love and serve the Lord through all and love and serve the Lord in all. Do you resolve to keep this commitment perpetually as a sign of the dedication of your life to Christ the Lord for the sake of the kingdom of heaven in service to God and others? Jose, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. 
May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Matthew, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Elliot, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Christian, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun this good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Kevin, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Matthew, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. Kevin, do you promise respect and obedience to your ordinary? I do. May God, who has begun the good work in you, bring it to fulfillment. On behalf of uh, Bishop Jugis, I want to thank our Metropolitan Archbishop Hartmeyer for being with us. Thank you so much. I know how much it means uh, to Bishop Jugis to have you here with us, and it's nice to have a bishop who's so connected to this provincial family as Archbishop Hartmeyer. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you.